It's been more than a week since the 2022 federal budget was unveiled. And while much of the focus was on housing and environmental measures, there was one important proposal that if you blinked, you may have missed. The feds outlined a plan to introduce a single nonprofit external body to address consumer complaints about banks. To help us break down the significance of this and what it means for investors' rights is Jean-Paul Bureau. He's the executive director at FAIR Canada. Jean-Paul, great to have you on. Thank you very much for having me. So this, this is an amendment to the Bank Act and the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada Act um, to improve the way investor complaints are being handled or will be handled. Um, what was wrong with the previous way things were done? Well, um, they haven't yet made the change, so it's yeah. still the way things are being done today. But uh, right now, the issue is that the banks get to choose who they want to use to help them resolve uh, the complaints. Uh, so they call these the external complaint bodies. And right now there are two that are formally approved at the federal level. One is OBSI uh, and the other is ADRBO. And so the banks get to choose where they wanna ultimately bring their complaints to. The consumer has no choice. It's the banks that get to choose. Okay. And I, and I understand it's also for profit, the one that the banks get but, to choose, right? Well, uh, yes. So okay. they can choose either one, but uh, there's only one that is for profit, and, and that's ADRBO. And so that creates some you know, reasonable apprehension that maybe the banks will favor that one uh, complaint handling body, uh, because one might expect uh, that maybe that that one body is a little bit more generous in terms of the favoring the banks because it is for profit. So one is reasonable to kind of question their motivation. Okay, so now this change, can you explain that? So the change going forward, and it's not entirely clear exactly uh, how it will uh, roll out. What we do know is the federal government is going to amend the legislation to remove the ability of banks to choose. We don't know, but we assume that the banks will be required to use OBSI going forward. Um, and we assume that, uh, you know, if it's not OBSI, it'll, it'll be another ombud service, but that it will definitely be a not-for-profit uh, ombud service. Okay. Um, Jean-Paul, do you, do you think this is exactly what was needed or, or do you think they could have gone far, farther? And, and I guess what I'm trying to get at is, is um, are there still loopholes do you think that could be exploited here? Well, there are still a lot of issues with the complaint handling system. This will definitely be a big improvement for bank customers. Um, but there remains a fundamental problem uh, is that even though you can go through this entire complaint handling process. At the end of the day, the ombudsman's decision is not binding on the bank. Mm. So the banks are free to ignore it. And so that is uh, a very fundamental flaw in the current system. And it's something that Fair Canada has been advocating for uh, for quite some time. Why, why do you think this has taken so long? I mean, when you, when you look at the sort of these details, it, it just feels like there's, there's some people who have been asleep at the wheel. Like, why has it taken so long? And I guess my second part is, how, what's the timing of it? When, is, when could this pass? Um, well, it's this issue of binding has been debated in Canada for over 10 years. Wow. Uh, and I know this at the, on the... The securities regulators are working hard at trying to find a way to create a binding system. Uh, I think why it's taking so long is, uh, you know, there's the industry is not particularly willing um, to be bound by uh, somebody else's decision in terms of how they should, you know, deal with their clients' complaints. Uh, and we have to be honest about that. Uh, but I think there are also some challenges and some people will argue due process and the right of an appeal and, you know, in terms of the, the decision that's made. And so there are some legitimate issues that need to be thought through and, and figured out 
without making the process even more complicated okay. or time consuming than it already is. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be uh, we'll be right back.